Hello from Tennessee. So I'm going to jump right into it. So I recently picked up a few micro, new micro brands and these micro brands have the NH35 and NH38 in them. The difference is the 35 is the no date version and the 38 is the date version. Uh, these are like these are 24 joule hacking movements, hand wind, 41 hour power reserve, uh, 21,600 vibrations per hour or three hertz. And I've been thinking a bit and I actually pulled out an older micro brand watch that I had that has the NH movement in it, which I'm going to bring on camera in just a second. But it got me thinking a little bit about uh, just, you know, I don't know why this movement's used so much, which I think obviously it's a cost thing and it's a well-established movement. I think some of these micro brands, um, especially uh, Notice I know does, they regulate the movements. Uh, but when you look around in the YouTube hemisphere, sometimes there seems to be a lot of criticism of these movements. Um, sometimes, um, when I show you my William Wood in a second, it's the price of that watch where there, it comes under critique because of the movement that's being used. But I personally think that uh, there are good movements. Um, from what I can tell, you know, I don't have a timographer, but they seem pretty accurate. And I think it allows micro brands to design unique pieces. So let's look at first the my two watches that have the NH38 movement. The first one is this, uh, this Borealis. This is um, my buddy Rob's special edition watch, um, but a pretty unique design and, you know, a little thicker. I think that's one criticism too, that sometimes, you know, the uh, cases or this movement's a little thicker. So you, you see, slightly thicker watches when that's the case. This particular one here, let's grab my calipers quick. This particular one here, yeah, you can see it's like 14.5. Um, but a fun but a fun watch, interesting design, nice uh, colors on it, just, just, just fun. Um, the next one I'm gonna show you that also has the NH38 is this uh, Axios Pathfinder. Um, the Random Rob edition I've had a while. This Pathfinder I just picked up recently um, on a private sale. It had all the stickers on it and everything. Um, this this watch I'm pretty impressed with. But I'm on the wavelength right now. Let's just look at the thickness of this one. See, so this one is only 12.2. So they, depending on the design, I think, and the time and effort that's put in, they can get thinner too as well. Um, but again unique design characteristics on this. For you, those of you that don't know, this is um, an offshoot of the Zelos, or it's a sister brand of Zelos. But I'm really impressed with this piece too as well. I got it for a decent price, but even brand new, I think if you get onto the initial Kickstarter, these are like 329. I mean, that's a this is a watch all day long that you definitely, um, I, I can't recommend enough. Like this, this one's just fun. But I get another unique design. And now let me go to my two uh, uh, no-date versions, which is the NH35. Um, I recently also got a really good deal, and I picked up this uh, Notice. I think this one's a little thicker. So this one is... Sorry, I have a hard time with the camera. It's 13, so not too, not too bad. Um, and I know for a fact I don't have... I have it up in my... Uh, my watch closet upstairs, but they regulate this movement um, and they give you a little card with it. Um, but great watch all the way around too as well. Wasn't sure about that color. I don't have anything. This is called a Salmon Sky color. I don't have anything in that color. Um, but actually this made it into my work rotation. It's it's comfortable and one of the, me one of the major reasons it's comfortable, I'm going to get on a tangent a little bit, is this a uh, this Nodex clasp here too as well. This thing is great. There's a little push button down here and you can just, you can really tune it in. But a, but just a really fun piece, great loom on it with that sandwich dial. Um, but I'm digressing a little bit. And last, 
And this is the watch that probably came comes under the most criticism because of the price point. Because brand new, these are uh, like a thousand dollars. I um, I like this watch. I wouldn't pay a thousand dollars for it. I got this for a fraction of that price, and uh, it's just a it, it's a fun, well designed watch. This is the William Wood Valiant, and this is a thick boy too as well with that crystal too. It's like sixteen point one. So you know, I think. Well, two, maybe one or two things before I go here. Like, me and microbrands have had a history. I have gone through a lot of them, and how I think I got down to like zero microbrands, and now I'm back up to eight. You can see four of them here. I think they, I think they have a good place in the collection. They can give you some diversity and some fun. And in my opinion, these NH movements um, from Seiko really allow these smaller brands to focus on design instead of like the, you know, like, you know, the legacy brands that have been around forever and a day. They, uh, I don't know, sometimes they're a little sterile. I mean, there, there are some, there's obviously a lot of watch brands that are doing some pretty cool things, I think. Micro brands test that envelope and do they maybe take some cues from existing brands maybe but I think they tweak them and make them very uh, you know not only affordable but something us watch enthusiasts go after so um, so that's it um, love your thoughts on this too as well uh, you know uh, by no means am I arguing that the the NH movements are the best all be all, but they're a good workhorse movement that's easy to, you know, get replaced if there is an issue. So I think they have a place in the collection. Um, I think if you're, for me as an enthusiast, you know, I like some of the, you know, the in-house movements. Um, I have a Oris Caliber 400, um, you know, that was pretty expensive when I bought it from an AD. Um, because I, I wanted something like a unique movement. I think that's part of it. But what I'm realizing as I stay in watches, you know, and find what kind of makes me uh, get interested to buy a watch is, you know, the different design languages too as well. You know, the movement is an important component, but, you know, I, I've got some pretty cool quartz pieces too as well. Um, I think the other four micro bands I have are all quartz. I'm pretty sure that's it. I'm going to do another video on that, just going over the micro brands at some point. I'm on a three-day weekend right now, so I'm hoping to get a couple of videos out. Um, work's been kind of crazy, so I haven't had the energy or the, you know, the motivation to do much. So, um, so I'm glad to get to back to do this. Um, I enjoy doing these videos and uh, talking to you all. So I think that is it, as always. Stay positive, make friends, enjoy the journey. Take care, everybody.